New at 11 tonight, we have new details on a deadly crash that claimed the lives of three women last year. Tonight, the Rhode Island man accused of causing the crash has been formally charged. Iowa News News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live in our studio with the new details. Both the victim's family members and the suspect's family members were in court as Frank Sundstrom faced a slew of charges, including three counts of second-degree manslaughter. A Warwick man faces a judge in Connecticut accused of killing three people in a wrong way crash on I-95 in December. They were wonderful, you know, amazing three women that they didn't deserve um, for anything like this to happen to them. Police say Frank Sundstrom was drunk when he plowed head on into a car in Old Lyme, Connecticut, killing 63-year-old Barbara Prado, her 90-year-old mother, Marjorie Minori, and their friend, 71-year-old Tamara Nolan. Some of the victim's family members spoke out in court. I just wanted the court to know that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. Unfortunately, our family didn't get a chance to come home to recuperate. Uh, they didn't get an opportunity to come back from that accident. Sundstrom suffered serious injuries in the crash and has undergone several surgeries on his arms, wrists, leg, and foot. I really can care less what his ailments are. I, um, he, he actually means nothing to me. I lost my whole life. During Thursday's arraignment, the judge set Frank Sundstrom's bond at $750,000. Sundstrom's attorney spoke with us outside of court. He and his family are devastated over this, uh, especially for the families of the victims. If Sundstrom makes bond, he's been ordered not to drive and not to drink alcohol. Connecticut State Police told WFSB that Frank Sundstrom's blood alcohol level was .197 at the time of the crash. He's due back in court in September. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.